Hello everybody and welcome back to some more, or the final part of Spiral the Dragon. We've reached Nasty Nork. I remember never being able to beat this boss as a kid. But then I read it wasn't actually wasn't that difficult. And there's also this bonus area is Nork's hideout which gives you all the gems but I don't think I can get that. Because I think I need all the gems in all the worlds or all the dragons or some shit. Which I'm not gonna do. Instead, we're just gonna kick Nasty Nork's ass and call it a day. Oh shit. Okay, so you can't hit me when I'm hiding. Plenty of gems around here. Plenty of gems, actually. What the fuck? I want to hear what the music sounds like, actually. Nothing cool. What well, that was gonna be like? Dun, 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 some cool and shit, but just boring, boring regular stuff that we hear from Spiral all the time. The upbeats. Shit, you know. Not that it's bad because it's just overused. Okay, come on. I need to fucking get you. I need to kill you. Alright, so that's that settled. Kick your ass. I don't know what else to say right now. Just probably take up my 20 minute time slot. Maybe. Come on. Fuck with What's with the horrible camera? Okay, so I put it there? Why? What's the difference between that key and the key that I'm gonna get right now? What's the difference? I don't see a fucking difference. But I do see gems that I want to get. Because Nasty Nork stole them all from the dragons, you bastard! I keep forgetting I don't need to hold up. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I want to. Eh, right, fuck it. No, I won't. We're just holding the- I was holding the up key for some reason. Oh, shit, gotcha. I was gonna breathe fire, but obviously it wasn't necessary because... Okay. Now he's running away like a little bitch. And he stops to wait for me. How considerate. He's like, oh, this guy's gonna kick my ass, so I might as well stop and wait for him. Considering he's my, he's my immortal enemy right now, and I'm gonna have to fight him and maybe kill him or have him defeat me, save the world, and end the game. I like, I like the idea of waiting for him better because it makes much more sense. And was also like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? There's a reason why he get that this one is no longer in the in Spyro because he's lame. Even his name is a little lame. Nasty Nork. Ooh, scary. Ripto's cooler. Even though he's less intimidating. Because he is interesting and he's not stupid. Okay, um... Oh. Fuck, I gotta hit him. Gotta hit him. Gotta hit that ass. Oh shit, shit. Oh god, that was close. That was almost bad. Alright, Nasty Nork, I'm coming for that ass. And you will pay for all the shit that you've done. For being a total prick. And just overall not being a good guy. 
Because everyone knows the villains always have to lose. Oh my fucking god. How do I catch up to this guy? How do I do this? He's so much faster than I am. For such a fat ass. He's like the Hulk. The Hulk's constipated brother. No, fuck you! Fucking hell. I know how to beat him, but I fucked up. I fucked up. God damn it. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Such an interesting boss fight. I mean, Ripto totally wasn't so much better than this boss fight. Not that this boss fight's bad, because they definitely got better as the games went on. Final boss fight. Well, in the last game, it was a little lacking. I thought the boss fight from Spyro 2 was better. The final boss fight, at least. The sorceress was just a little lame. Gotcha, bitch! Ah, oh, jeez, this guy is faster than he should be. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, game. Why did the frame rate just drop for a moment there? Okay, come on, this is annoying. Bitch! You're toast, <laughs> that was easy. Jeez, that was really easy, actually. Sorry I took so long. I kind of forgot about you. What about Ganasty Ganork? Nasty Nork? His toast! So now there's order again in the Dragon Kingdom? Well, mostly. I still got some treasure to pick up. What will you do next? I'd say the sky's the limit. Hmm. Okay. And that was Spyro the Dragon. The very first in a franchise that was quite high in its peak during the era of PlayStation 1, but kind of died down even more than Crash Bandicoot did. I mean, at least Crash Bandicoot had some titles that were a bit noteworthy after that, but aside from Hero's Tale and some of the Game Boy games, Spyro didn't really lead to anything else interesting. They both have something in common where after, you know, the company kind of left with the idea, they went down. That's why these two are often paired. But they're also often paired because they're platforming great, they're great platforming games from the era of the PlayStation 1. PlayStation exclusives. So they have a lot in common. What is my final review of this game? Well, aside from the really weak bosses and sometimes the the music not really being noteworthy, it's still good. The graphics got better, but they were still all right for its time. Um, the gameplay is fine. The when there's voice acting, it's fun. It can be quite funny at times, even if it's not always meaning to be. And overall, it's just it's good. It's a good game. I recommend it if you like the PlayStation One and you never played it before. It's a lot of fun, but I will say this, the games do get much better as they go on. Although it takes a really big leap with Spyro 2 being so much better than this one, it's a bit of a smaller leap when it goes to Spyro 2 to Spyro 3. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have, and make sure to rake on and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Also, make sure to check out my supporters, all that great stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, suckers.